Hello, Amanda, are you there? Hello. Hi, teacher. Okay, Amanda, we're going to start in honor to your punctuality. <laughs> Vamos a empezar por su puntualidad, okay? Okay, so good to see you, Amanda. Were you in the class yesterday? Estuve en la clase ayer? Were you in the class yesterday, Amanda? No, no estuve, teacher. No estuve. Okay, so, okay, what we are going to do? Vamos a hacer un review, entonces. Vamos a hacer un review of what we study. Give me just a moment. Para que usted entra. ¿Cómo vamos con las lecciones, Amanda? Este, voy por la ya la última, las cinco, solo que algunas cosas no las he completado. Ah, uh -huh. las cinco ya vamos bastante adelantados. Uh -huh. Ok, that's good, that's good. Okay, let's have a review while the others join the course, right? Ok, so yesterday what we study. Oh, no, no. Okay, so we study uh, this vocabulary, right? We study, um, for example, the physical appearance. Algunos rasgos de la apariencia, right? So, for example, we study, um, para decir cabello largo, brown café. We say long brown hair. En el caso que sea corto, short Blonde hair, so blonde son como the persons that have a, personas que tienen yellow hair, right? Blonde, los rubios, como decimos. Mm. Then we have the straight black hair. Tenemos las personas que tienen el cabello liso negro. Mm -hmm. okay. En su caso veo que es cabello liso negro, entonces sería straight black hair. Digamos que su pelo es anaranjado y es liso. Pero vamos a cambiar el color de este lado. Mm -hmm. So we have curly red hair, los que son color eh, rojo, bold, los que son calvos, bold. Bold. And this one is a mustache and a beard. Mustache. Exactly, mustache and a beard. So then we study, for example, when we talk about age, la edad. So we study, um, for example, para decir joven, we use, we say young. Yeah. We say, for example, in el caso de que anden en los 30, middle age, right? Middle, middle age. Y yeah, nos referimos a los mayores como elderly. Elderly. Mm -hmm. Then we have, for example, handsome, handsome. Bonito. Yeah, o guapo, right? In the case of the barones. Handsome, And we use it for boys. Usualmente se utiliza para boys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. También tenemos el good looking. Los que son como de buen mozo, right? Mm -hmm. Buen parecido. Good looking. And then we have pretty. Bonito, bonita. Okay, so that is the vocabulary. No, I don't know if you have questions, Amanda. No, it's a claro. Okay, so let's move on to the topic. Vamos entonces a la lección. Ya veo que ya ya hay tres. We are three now. <laughs> Maybe uh, they had something to do. Okay, let's go to the class. Hello, Jonathan. Oh my goodness, and give me a moment. The computer is okay. Here is this. Okay, let's go. Okay, so uh, we evening. are hello, good evening. Morena, Jonathan, and Joma. Good to see you guys. Okay, so we have the lesson for today. We're going to talk about fashion, right? Mm. 
fashion, los styles, la moda, fashion. Okay, so we have different styles. Tenemos diferentes estilos o different uh, types, right? Como la people wear, right? We have the bow or bohemian style. Tenemos, we have the classic prep. We have the hipster. We have the street wear. Okay, let's read what they are. Okay, maybe Gladys, can you help me with the first information about the bohemian or the bow style? Hello, Gladys. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Gladys. Can you help me with the first one? Um, de leerlo. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dice, the, uh, the, the, the bow girl, the bow, mm -hmm. bow, um, the bow, bow, mm -hmm. girl, the bow girls, girl, wear, mm -hmm. wears comfortable, mm -hmm. um, clothes, clothes, mm -hmm. clothes, um, Lumps, skirts, mm -hmm. and flowy. Mm -hmm. Dresses in colorful floral prints. Okay, we have the word comfortable, right? Or comfortable. Comfortable. Um, uh, yes, comfortable or comfortable. Que significa algo que es muy cómodo, for example. Algo que es cómodo, right? Cómodo. Mm -hmm. okay. We have eh, estos flowy. Son como estos vestidos que son... ¿Cómo es que se dice? Que son bastante flojos, digamos. Flow. Yes, flowy, like mm -hmm. something comfortable or comfortable. Okay, are, do you wear clothes like this, Gladys? Do you wear clothes like this? Usa ropa así? Do you wear clothes like this? Like they are comfortable, flowy? No. Say comfort, comfort see. Sí. Mm -hmm. um, uh, flowy, no. Okay, comfortable, yes, but flowy, no. So you like tidy, las cosas que son tidy, son apretadas, tidy. No, tidy. Mm -hmm. Apretado o no? Eh, no. Así eh, como eh, pegado to your body. Holgado. No, holgado, like a flowy, let's say. No, flowy. no, es que eso no. Eh, así mm -hmm. tan, tan flojo no, sino que holgado, pero no está apretado tampoco, sino que es. Medium. Eh, eh, medium, ajá. Medium, ok, half right. Okay, thank you, Gladys. So, can you help me with the second one about the classic prep? Okay, who are they? Can you help me? Um, Jonathan, please, can you help me with the information? The preppy guy, what does he look like or what does he wear? Mm -hmm. Jonathan, are you there? No está? Okay. Uh, can you help me, uh, Joelman, with the second one? Um, classic prep. Uh, the preppy guy wears shirts and streetwear in pastel colors. Uh, Eki pants and leather belts. Okay, this type of fashion used to be before, right? Este tipo de moda estuvo antes, right? Los, aquellos chicos que usaban that they wore, for example, khaki pants, se acuerdan que utilizaban colores así como pasteles, right? Pastel colors. Okay, Joelman, in your case, are you a classic prep guy? Are you mm. a... <laughs> or do you wear clothes like that? Like yeah. pink? Never. Mm -hmm. Never. Never. <laughs> you know, some boys, they say, I don't like to wear 
pink because it is for girls. No, no. No, you don't like pink, for example, no, shirts. Not my type. I, I have, I have one, one T-shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, pink, but is tie tie dye T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Tie dye T-shirt. So let's say that you are like half and a half a classic guy or a preppy guy, half and a half. Okay, that depends, right, of your style. Let's see what are the hipsters. Can you help me, uh, Jose Vega? What are the hipsters like or where? Yes. Yeah, okay. please. Uh -huh. Hipster. The hipster wears hip hats, heavily, and large glasses. Black and popular color. The men often have unique hairstyle and long hair. Bears. Lo bears, yes, right. Yes. Okay, are you a hipster guy, Jose? Are you a hipster guy? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you are not a hipster guy. No. Do you no, don't like hipster. to wear the beard? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, sure. so there are some people or there are some guys that I've seen that, for example, they like to wear the big beard, like that, the big one, the glasses, right? And these... Uh, in these hats, the hip hat. Okay, that is a style, right? What about the street wear? Can you help me, Ananias, with the street wear? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. The street hair, ¿cómo se pronuncia la palabra? Street, street wear. A street wear. Mm -hmm. The street wear fan wears casual and trendy clothes, jeans, best basketball mm -hmm. jersey, baseball cap, mm -hmm. t-shirt -shir with low and cool sneakers. In cool sneakers, right? So we have that they like to wear logos, right? It can be like from any brand, alguna marca, any brand, for example, a famous brand. For example, we have Nike, uh, Adidas, right? And there are these famous brands. So are you a, a street guy? Are you a street guy, Adonias? Or what is your style? Mm -hmm. What is your style, Adonias? Um, pues no, no, no. ¿Cuál es el estilo, eh, verdad? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál sería su, su estilo, right? For example, is it classic? Is o sea, it... mi, ah, mi estilo. Mm -hmm. mm, quizás más Algo de hipster y streetwear. Algo de something about hipsters and street life, like a mixture, right? A mezcla, mixture. Yes. Okay, mixture of them. Okay, that, that's right, right? Everybody has different styles. Okay, questions about any word, vocabulary? No? Okay, so let's move on. To this listening, you're going to listen this part and then you're going to tell me what the listening is about. So let's have a look of this section. Page 61, exercise eight, conversation. Which one is she? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? 
Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, what is the listening about? Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, a girl uh, uh, go uh, went uh, went out with Alex mm -hmm. and there is a new a new person mm -hmm. and there is a new person right yes okay they, there are some people there they are mean talking and they are wearing some of the things that we are going to describe right okay so let's let's have uh, these part right let's listen and then you practice remember this is for you to practice pronunciation right okay let's listen one more time Try to mimic, try to pronounce this, so then you can practice. Listen. Page 61, exercise eight, conversation. Which one is she? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Raul, good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh. I'd like to meet her. Okay. So, who wants to practice? Volunteers? Is there a volunteer? Mm -hmm. Volunteers. Yes, okay, Gloria, thank you. Somebody else, guys? Volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Alpha, perfect, thank you. So, Gloria, you are going to be Liz, and Alpha is going to be Raul. Ready? Okay, okay let's yes. go. Uh, hi, Raul. What to see you? Where is Maggie? Oh, she's called Maggie. She went to concert with Alex. Oh, where? Why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone her. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over, over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's studying near the window. Oh, I, I like to meet her. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Gloria and Alpha. Just reinforce. Sí. Este, este final, perdón. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice? Oh, I like. I'd like, exactly. I'd, I'd like. like okay. I'd like to meet her. Okay, then we have the word standing, right? Standing. It's like it's at the pie, standing right, standing near the window. Then we have concert, concert. And then we have the expression couldn't Sorry, make teacher, it. Tengo mala okay, Jonathan, okay. Then we have the, the expression couldn't make it. Significa como que no pudo completar algo. She couldn't make it, right? She couldn't. Okay, questions about our. No? Okay, guys, so let's keep practicing, right? Si queremos mejorar the pronunciation, this is a good way that ustedes puedan repeat, repeat the words exactly as they say. So we'll see how your uh, pronunciation gets better. So let's page um, 61. Page, move to the grammar section, right? Okay, no había duda? Any questions about the previous part? I forgot to ask you that. No, no hay preguntas, no questions? No? Okay, great, guys. So let's have a look with the topic that we have for today, that we are going to talk about the modifiers with present participles and 
prepositions. What is that? Vamos a ver qué es eso. Ok, so we have who is Diego. ¿Quién es Diego? Es el hombre que usa. Usualmente los participles, hay dos tipos, pero el que vamos a ver este día es el que le vamos a agregar ing, ing. Tenemos el ejemplo. Él es el chico o es el joven que usa o usando también en la camisa azul. Por ejemplo, eh, who is the teacher? ¿Quién es la maestra de esta clase? Who is the teacher? Puede decir, ah, ella es la que está. ¿Cómo podemos utilizar el parsicle en ese caso? Vamos a una oración como ejemplo. Who is the teacher? The is the girl. Podemos decir, she is the girl wearing. Que está usando o que usa a pink shirt, digamos. Ok, tenemos the, with the other example. Which one is Diego? ¿Cuál es Diego? Cuando tenemos como el which one, hay como dos opciones. Right. Estamos pensando which one, podemos decir como usted tiene dos opciones. He is the one talking to Brooke. ¿Cómo pudiera traducir this sentence? How can we translate right, this sentence? Uh -huh. Any option, guys? He is the one talking to Brooke. No sé. Él es el único hablando. Mm -hmm. Very close. Or we can say, es el que está hablando. Hablando right? con Brooke. Con Brooke, exactly. Es el que está. Mm -hmm. That can be. Then we have con prepositions, right? Si nos acordamos de las prepositions, ya vimos, eh, por ejemplo, la on, hemos visto behind, um, hemos visto in también. Todas estas son las prepositions. Pero también hay otras. Tenemos, por ejemplo, with, tenemos la preposición of también. Entonces, también con esas las podemos utilizar. We have the example. Who's Brooke? She's the woman with... Long black hair. ¿Quién es Brooke? Ella es la chica que con cabello largo negro, right? With. Which one is Paula? ¿Cuál es Paula? Ella es la alta en jeans. Tenemos aquí de preposition, right? O también podemos traducirlo como la, la más alta, right? O la alta. Who are the Harrisons? They are the people next to the window. Son las personas cerca a la par de la ventana. Y si no queremos utilizar the people, podemos utilizar the ones. También, right? Estamos reemplazando this word too. Lo mismo que en este caso. Instead of using the woman, you can use the tall one. Okay, uh, do you have questions about this topic? Uh -huh. eh, teacher, pero ¿cómo sería toda la oración? Oui. Eh, eh, which, which one? Which one? ¿Cuáles son o quién? Vaya, vaya no, uh -huh. pero eso aquí. ¿Cuáles son los, los Harrison? ¿Verdad? Sí. Hay como una pregunta, los... ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, entonces. De, 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 o de, quiénes de, también. ¿Quiénes son los Harrison? O, o quiénes también, pero uh -huh. quiénes. Eh, este, es como which también. ¿Quiénes? ¿Quién es? ¿Who? En el caso... Vale, eh, vale, así es que aquí es ¿Quién es? ¿Who uh -huh. are the Harrison? Uh -huh. ¿Quién es? Aquí ¿Quiénes son los Harrison? Uh -huh. Y aquí tendría que ser ¿Cuáles son los Harrison? Aquí, ¿verdad? También. ¿Cómo? Sí, también. Ok. Pero Both. ¿Cómo, ser, uh -huh. ¿cómo, se, cómo se, eh, eh, sería la, la, la respuesta? Ellos ¿Los son, son los los que están los que están en el couch. Aquí es los que están en the, the ones. Yes, the ones, los, los que están. Los que están. Uh -huh. uh, they, they, 
They are the ones on the couch. Ellos son los que están. ¿Sobre qué? Sobre el couch. Sobre el sofá, el couch. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Esos son los que están en el sofá, right? También esta, ella es la que es la, a la que la más alta también podemos decirlo. O es la que tiene también. Ok. No Hola, me yo no estoy confundida con, con Juan y con Juans. Ok, Juans. Juan y Juans. Ok, Juan lo vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, para reemplazar una cosa. She's the one. En este caso estamos reemplazando the woman. Estamos hablando de, de, de la mujer, right? En cambio acá podemos utilizarlo para hablar en plural. Ellos son los o ella es la que está o la que tiene jeans. Okay. Uh -huh. O también acá, en el caso de which one is Diego, en este ejemplo, él es el que está hablando o él es el que habla. Uh -huh. He is the one. O también podemos decir he is the man talking to Brooke. Pero acá estamos reemplazando this word. Ok. So, let's practice. Vamos a, let's practice. Y ahí you can ask, guys. So, we have to rewrite. Tenemos que escribir the sentences, right? Y lo tenemos que hacer just one. We have to use the modifiers with participles and the prepositions. Prepositions, don't forget, are these ones. Los participles son los que llevan ing. Ok, el verbo le vamos a agregar ing. Ok, we have the example. Kylie is the tall guy. He's wearing a yellow shirt and brown pants. Ahora, esto lo tengo que hacer una sola oración. Ok, vamos a hacer esto. Ok, tenemos la primera, right? Tenemos tall guy. Y que está usando a yellow shirt and brown pants. Entonces yo tengo que unir esto. Y tengo el verbo que me va a ayudar a unirlo. Entonces tengo la oración. As a result, Kylie is the tall guy wearing a yellow shirt and brown pants. Kyle es el chico alto que usa. Una camisa amarilla and brown pants. Okay, let's do number two. Okay, who wants to try number two? Vamos a hacer just one sentence. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo puedo hacer that sentence? Who wants to try, guys? Uh -huh. Volunteers. No volunteers today, guys. Why? Let's try. It's complicated. You will see that it is easy. Van a ver que está bastante fácil. Uh -huh. It's confused. Yeah, it can be. It can be. But if you do the first one, then you go with the next one. He's the man. Okay, we have Mark and Eve, right? Estamos hablando de ellos dos. Mark, Mark and Eve. They are. Mm -hmm. they are the people. Mark and Eve. Uh, are. The are little. The... Mm -hmm. The middle, the middle age cap. Ya tengo la primera oración y lo tengo que conectar con la siguiente. Entonces, lo único que hago es tomar el verbo. ¿Cuál sería? That's right, that's right. Mark 
and Eve are the middle-aged couple talking. To Mike. Right. To Michael. Mark and Eve son las personas, son la pareja de mediana edad que hablan, hablando también con Mike. Okay, let's do the next one. Uh -huh. Let's do the next one. Tengo la, do we have two sentences? Go ahead. Uh -huh. Sería Alexis, uh -huh. John, Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, okay. Uh, sería white t-shirt. Okay. Jeans. We have a white t-shirt, right? Mm. Alexis. A mm. white t-shirt and blue jeans. Mm -hmm. Podemos agregar un verbo acá para que pueda wearing. conectar. We can use wearing to. Or the option that Alpha gave us too. Vamos a dar las dos options. Wearing a white, white t-shirt. Uh -huh. T-shirt and blue jeans. Or otra opción también es la que nos daba Alpha. Right. So the other option we have is that Alexi is the younger with right with a white t-shirt and blue jeans. Mm -hmm. Or tenemos otra opción también. We have another option. Alexis is the girl. Is the one también. Is the one wearing a white t-shirt. Para utilizar el one, ¿verdad? Alexis es el que está usando uh -huh. una camisa blanca y blue jeans. We have different options. Okay, let's do number four. Who wants to try number four? Number four. Brittany is the woman in the green dress sitting to the left of, of the Javier. Yeah. Brittany is the woman. The woman mm -hmm. in the green dress mm -hmm. sitting, sitting. To, the, to the left of Javier. Yes, yeah, sitting to the left <laughs> of Javier. Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué sitting? La que está sentada. Sentada. Right. Mm -hmm. La que está. Britney es la mujer en vestido, vestido verde o de vestido Ajá. verde sentada. Está sentada right. en la parte de Javier. Exacto. Or, ¿Qué otro, otra opción? What is another option we have in this case? Tenemos otra opción, right? Britney. Is the one, podemos también omitir the woman. Is the one, es la que. O es la que usa, right? Es la, es la de vestido verde, sentada, right? To, uh, to the left of Javier. Okay, let's do number five. Let's do number five. Who wants to do number five? Mm -hmm. Number five, guys. Mm -hmm. So number five. G J P. J P. Yeah. Is the serious looking boy? Mm -hmm. Is the serious? Okay. Right. Playing a video game. Mm -hmm. Playing via video game. That's right. Or another option. ¿Qué otra opción tenemos? 
what is another option we have? ¿Qué otra opción? What is another option? JP is the one, right? Is the one. Is the one. Mm -hmm. Is the one playing video game. Mm -hmm. That's right. Es el JP es el que está jugando right video game. Okay. You see that it is easy, right? Just you have to make click, right? You see it is easy. Okay, no questions, guys. Una de las oraciones el verbo en ING, por decir algo. Si lo queremos hacer utilizando el participle, yes, que sería con ING, así es. Sí. Ok, pero no nos olvidemos que antes del participle podemos utilizar ya sea la palabra, en este caso que tenemos the main o the one. Ok, uh -huh. a esto sí es muy importante que no nos olvidemos. Porque si no los agregamos, estamos utilizando otro tiempo. Y ese ustedes, no me recuerdo, creo que ya lo vieron, que es el presente progresivo. Present progressive. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Se acuerdan que es el ando, endo? Cuando se dice yo estoy comiendo, yo estoy caminando. Entonces, por eso es el que es el participle, right? No nos olvidemos de agregar el complemento. Uh -huh. O sea, teacher, ese es lo que hacemos es el que está en el momento, el presente, el que está. Eh, the one. He's the, uh -huh, he's the one talking, right? Es el que está, está hablando o es uh -huh. el que habla también. El que habla. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así es. Y en el caso uh -huh. del they are, lo mismo, solo que... Uh -huh. es Ellos son los que... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Los que están hablando, podemos decir, uh -huh. los que uh -huh. hablan también. Exactly. Okay. Okay, okay. there we have the topic for today. So uh, let's have more practices, right? Vamos a tener more practices. I will share with you like some exercise for you to practice this topic that you, most of the people, American people, use it okay so it's time right for uh the part of speaking so and uh, right now we're going to have this section right this section and uh, we're going to do a short presentation estamos hablando de los physical appearance estamos hablando de simple present también so you're going to describe four famous persons, right? Me, okay. actors, okay. singers, your favorite person, right? Okay. You're going to create a presentation. Mm -hmm. Vamos a agregar uh, the pictures, right? According to each person, according to each character. Y vamos a describir, you're going to describe that person. Okay, uh, for each person, you are going to present the following question. What does he look like? How long is his hair? How tall is he? And what color is his hair? No nos olvidemos de, de, mention, de mencionar the name, the famous person's name, right? Okay, so questions about the activity? No? Okay, so questions, Gladys? No? No. Okay, okay. So since they are four, we are going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en pareja. Entonces, son cuatro personas. Nos tocarían two for each a person, right? Entonces, so, en parejas, usted va a presentar dos en una presentación, right? Just one presentation. Okay, ready, guys? 
<laughs> it could be a, I don't know if there is a dead person or it can be a person that is alive, right? So let's go in the, in the practice. Let's see, what did I do here? So let's go, we are 10. Okay. <clears throat> if you are working in trios, si hay trios, serían dos por cada uno, right? Ese es el standard, two per each person. Okay, let's go. Wearing. Uh -huh. He is wearing a uh, uh -huh. jacket, uh -huh. a, a jacket and 
fans. Uh -huh. eh, si, eh, si, es, si es este varón, es eh, his handsome, ¿verdad? Sí, y, podría ser. Y si uh -huh. es señorita, she is beautiful, elegant. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Como cuando usted describe a alguien cuando eh, está con más personas.
acá y le puse la foto y de ahí le puse el, los aspectos y de ahí que preguntaba qué que tan largo era su cabello, qué tan alta era ella y de, y de qué color era su cabello. Súper. Teacher, es que yo no sé cómo hacer eso, entonces lo está haciendo y entre los dos lo estamos haciendo. Él le escribe y yo, yo aquí estoy pensando. Es el trabajo ahí. ¿no? <risa> yes. Yes, teacher. Entonces lo vamos eligiendo los, los, los actores o cantantes o lo que sea, artistas, y ahí vamos escribiendo entre los dos. Okay. Vamos generando las ideas. Do you have questions or did you finish with the activity? Did you finish? Ahorita vamos a poner a Piqué. <risa> Okay, okay. Recuerden que son dos por cada uno, right? Sí, yes. Two Pero es que yo no sé cómo hacerlo, teacher. Simple. Lo único que tenemos que hacer es, por ejemplo, let me show you. Ok, let me show you. ¿Cómo? No, no, no sé cómo. Ok. Ahorita lo vamos a hacer un ejemplo. Simple, ya a ver que está bien, simple. Voy a poner a este acá. Ok, give me just a second. Ok, aquí está. Basically, simple, right? Simple. Ok, entonces lo único que usted va a hacer en la presentation es, escribir, es solo presentar la imagen de la persona famosa y, y usted va a empezar a describir la, la información, ¿verdad? Que tenemos acá. Por ejemplo, he, usted va a mencionar en la presentación, he is a reporter, la persona famosa, ¿verdad? He is a reporter, eh, he... Estamos ahí en la, segunda, en la primera pregunta, ¿cómo es él, verdad? Lo estamos describiendo. He has blue eyes. Eh, he has short hair, digamos. Short hair. Ya me pasé la otra. And uh, he is smart. Bien, yeah, right. Empezamos a describir, right? Based on the questions that we have. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Sí, Alfa. Sí, pero lo que no sé es cómo poner la imagen. <laughs> <laughs> ese, ese es mi problema, Tita. <laughs> ok, ok, ok. ¿Por qué no hacen una sola presentación? Pues sí, por eso le estoy ayudando a José. <laughs> ok, ok. I let you work, guys. I let you work. Estamos bien. Let me know if you have questions, okay? Hello, Morena and Luis. Did you finish? Ya terminamos. Did you finish? Uno no falta. Okay. So, are you ready to present or not yet? <laughs> Are you ready to present, guys? Estamos listos to, uh, to present information? Hello, Luis and Morena. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Solo uno tenemos ahorita. Creo que con ese sí estaríamos listos y preparados. You are ready. So, can you present right now, or do you need time to get ready? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Estamos listos, are you ready? No, or yes, Luis? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, 
Do you want to present? Okay. Vamos a acabar. Estoy compartiendo, sí, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿Sí no? yes. ya. Yeah. Okay. ok, este. His name is. is Roberto Gómez Bolaños. Um, he is short and shabby. Yeah, shabby. She okay. has short hair. Uh -huh. He has short hairs. Hairs hair. or hearts? Hair. Hair. Mm -hmm. He is five, five feet three. Ok, por el tiempo Luis, le voy a cortar, vamos a terminar ahorita. Because it is time, right? And uh, I think you, you won't be able to finish, right? So guys, tomorrow get ready with the presentations. And uh, see you tomorrow, guys, okay? Okay. Okay, see you guys, have a nice night, right? Oh, good night, guys, see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Get ready oh with the presentations, bye-bye, see you.